Plot armor exists in all sorts of media, and usually degrades in their quality. See for example, uh, Fairy Tale. The author of the manga stated that he dislikes killing characters, hence them being able to survive anything. Like seriously, it's to the point of stupidity. This seems to happen a lot in anime and manga, especially shonen ones. We see it in, as stated before, Fairy Tale, Naruto, One Piece, Boku no Hero Academia, Jojo Parts 1 to 6, and many more. This probably has to do with the target audience being teenage boys. There are seinens that also do the same, but they tend to do it a lot less due to their series being marketed towards young adult men. There's one shonen manga I feel has used plot armor to its advantage though. It's Chainsaw Man, and it's Kobani's car. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, it's Kobani. <laughs> Kobani is a devil hunter that was introduced in chapter 10 of the manga. Just from the way she looks compared to everyone else on this page, she looks very nervous. She is sweating and everything, while everyone else looks calm and collected. The first thought I had was, she ain't gonna be living very long in a manga as ruthless as this. Uh, yeah, we're currently at chapter 96 of the manga, there's one chapter remaining, and she is one of the only characters still alive. Why? Because she has plot armor and it's brilliantly used. Whenever we see Kobani, she's her usual nerve-wracking self and is in a very dangerous situation. And somehow through all the people killed during said dangerous situations, she ends up surviving but becomes more and more miserable. Instead of dying, something else happens that damages her more so mentally than physically, and it's usually hilarious. Wanted to go to university? Nope, forced to become a devil hunter when she is terrified of devils. She starts to enjoy her job a bit because of her teammate, who quickly gets killed in front of her. While she was really cool-headed in combat, afterwards she starts to lose it, blaming herself for Hirokazu's death. And other things like Himeno dying, everyone around her starts to die one by one. She constantly gets frightened by devils, power crashes her new car and gets blamed for it, which she fixes with her savings, which then gets wrecked not long after. <laughs> Speaking of her car, it gets more votes than her in a popularity vote done, which is just so fucking funny. <laughs> and yeah, we can't forget about how she starts working at a burger chain, forced to do cringy poses, forced to deal with Chainsaw Man, somehow slips twice while serving a meal to Chainsaw Man, causing all her co-workers decapitations, forced to go on a date with Chainsaw Man, and forced to play DDR all while she cries constantly. Man. Those two chapters were <laughs> a different kind of intense. And yeah, as everyone dies swiftly in the Control Devil arc, she lives and is like one of the three characters still alive. <laughs> On honestly, I don't know if half of this is real at this point. The point is that her plot armor is used by the author to create this dark humor, as we see her being constantly miserable while surviving literally everything, we all laugh, and she keeps crying. I feel bad for her, I really do, but when your own car beats you in a popularity poll, um, I'm sorry, but I will keep laughing till the sun consumes the earth. And I'm sure she will continue to be miserable in the final chapter. This is why I feel plot armor isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's like with all tropes and tools, as long as you use them right and are original with it, you can use them to your advantage. The first girl the main character meets doesn't have to be the final love interest. You can pull a chicken otoku and make the greatest romance manga ever made. The main character doesn't have to stay a hero-like figure. They can be like Gon who has twisted morals or Eren who becomes a genocidal maniac. And while well, yeah, I see many other characters in the medium being miserable because of plot armor, I've never really seen it used like how Fujimoto Tatsuki uses it in Chainsaw Man. Instead of using it to be overly dark and traumatical, Fujimoto uses it for black comedy purposes. And as I've been explaining, it works phenomenally. Comedy is just immortal. I bet even if the world were to end in that final chapter, she would still be alive somehow. Oh yeah, and if for some reason you are watching this video without reading Chainsaw Man yet, go read it. It's a pretty quick read of bizarre artistic choices and character writing. I just felt like making this video because I caught up with the recent 20 or so chapters the other night. I'm also currently working on a long ass review of Boris Hill, which I'm losing brain cells over. That will probably be out near the end of the month. Till then, go have some fun. <laughs>